Hello all, this is Joshua Sagona, also known as Sagona So2. I'm going to be playing um, Earthbound, and Earthbound is a very interesting SNES game. It was developed a long time ago. I started playing it when I was, what, eight years old? And I got pretty good at the game. I mean, I think I've beaten it, in total I've beaten it about six or seven times. But, uh... I will be playing Earthbound here today. And I've done this before, I mean on my blog so you can see a bunch of previous Earthbound videos. But, what's different about this? Uh, I don't know. Um, in my other videos I tended to corrupt them a lot. I don't plan to do it with this series of videos though. So, this is going to be me playing Earthbound. I am using an emulator, ZSNES, as you can see by the heading. Um, and the reason I do on emulator is because we don't have a working SNES anymore. Of course, I have the game. And I've played it a lot. So, what you're going to see is basically me going through the whole game. I know every single thing to do at every single point, I think. I haven't played this game for... How long? Three or four years since I last touched this game. So it's going to be an interesting adventure. And Earthbound is an interesting adventure, so this is all going to be fun. So, we just had a meteorite crash. We want to know what is going on. So, let's get out there. Oh, hey. I'm going to... It's my sister Tracy. And I'm going to grab this now so I don't have to grab it later. It's a cracked bat, which I can take and equip if I want to. And I will. I won't need weapons yet, but that's that. So the next thing you know, you're going outside. Find out there's chaos and mayhem out here. Police cars. The city's gone mad. It's better to get those gift boxes early, so later when you're being chased by enemies, you don't have to worry about getting them. There's Pokey, your neighbor, who's kind of annoying. Um, you saw I put my attack speed... Oops, I pressed it twice, darn. That's what sucks about the L key. You press it a lot. But, uh... Anyway, Pokey is your annoying neighbor, who later will be your villain. Not much to say about the beginning of the game, I mean, the beginning of the game is kind of lax and chill. You're just going through the game, and trying to learn. I mean, there's nothing too special about it. And also, you noticed I put my attack speed on fast, because it's slow otherwise. It's gonna, it makes the game drag. But, um, that is my reading speed too, the fast attack speed, so that's good enough for me. Now there's someone knocking at our door, so we gotta check that out. Gosh, Pokey, could you be any more annoying? Oh, did I ruin that? I'll try not to ruin the game in the future, I'll just play it by ear. Then again, most people know about this game already, if they're watching me play it at all. So he's basically saying the sharks are ruining the town, and they've gone mad because of a threat. Well, he doesn't actually say that. But you know what's gonna happen. So I'm gonna say, hey mom. Go for it. But I have to change out my pajamas. This game has some funny little interesting th tidbits too. You're gonna see every once in a while. It's quite funny. This game is the most random RPG you could possibly ever play. It's got everything. Cookie! I believe you can get multiple cookies from Tracy. But, uh... 
generally you won't need that many cookies. And that's King, which is your dog, if you name him King by default. And you can call your dad, but you can't call him until the phone actually rings. Cookie says he's gonna follow you at a safe distance. He doesn't do anything for you. And then the phone rings. Ring. Ring. It's your dad. He says you left money in your ATM machine, and when you go there, you can withdraw with your ATM card. Thirty dollars! That's a lot of money. I don't know, I think Ness is like 16 years old? I keep forgetting. There's a magic butterfly useless at the game. The game. I believe we have life of Alpha. King is barking and Pokey pretend to cry. Yeah, you guys are a big help. Nice! Start the game. First smash. That is the way to start this game. Let's go, 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 go! La 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 la. Yeah, spiteful crow. I'm not gonna worry about that one. It's not like I could really do anything else. Spiteful crow has a super fast speed, so fighting him at this level is really hard. Because he tends to dodge everything. Bam! King smashed him! Go King! So this is gonna level me up. And I get my cookie back. Oh, now you get life up alpha. Yeah. So now I can heal myself if I need to during battle. Which helps, I guess. Runaway dog. By the way, the cool thing about Earthbound, whichever way you face, that determines what kind of battle it'll be. If you face directly at the enemy when they run into you, then it'll be a normal battle. Whoever has the fastest speed goes first, next second, next the fastest speed, and so on. If you are encount if you are facing away from the enemy when they attack you, that means that you are gonna get a surprise attack. So you get a red swirl and you miss a turn, which can be very bad at times. If the enemy is facing away from you and you're facing the enemy, then it's a green swirl. And King runs away because he gets scared. It's Picky, Pokey's brother. I first thought Picky was a girl. I thought that was pretty funny to find out later Picky was another boy. Yes, I hear the bee. It's a buzz buzz. Hey, what's up, Buzz Buzz? B I am not ten years from the future. Um, Gygus. Gygus? I guess that's his name. I don't I never knew how to spell it. But he, but he's saying there's a chosen boy who will have to fulfill a destiny, and Gygus has set some plans in motion. You must confront immediately. Do you think are important with encourage friendship? Three boys and one girl will defeat Gygus. That is the fate of the future. Did you listen to what I told you? Yes, I did listen to your long story. I hate him when I say no to his long stories, because he explains his stories again and again. So now I get this ultra-powerful buzz buzz from the future. No, Pokey, you are not one of the three. Trust me. There's Lear Exaggerate, which... Lear? Lear? I don't know how to pronounce the name. But he's he discovered a Manny Manny, I guess is the pronunciation, Manny Manny statue. And it is a creepy statue, with which later you have to deal with, because Gygus makes it evil, I suppose. And now we are stopped! And this star man knows Buzz Buzz, which means he comes from the future too. And he's gonna try to pwn us. But Buzz Buzz uses psychic shields, which protects us from any psychic attack. And Picky does one damage, and I do six damage. And Buzz Buzz works like 90 something damage later. Bam! Go Buzz Buzz psychic shield. 107, awesome. Yeah! 
The moment our psychic shields disappear, Buzz Buzz puts them back, or he makes them stronger like that. That wastes turns, though. Um, I remember watching an Earthbound speedrun, and I remembered the guy that speedran it kept trying to, uh, get the fastest Starman Jr. run, which apparently was two rounds, I think. I think it was two rounds. It was Buzz Buzz attack, psychic shield, Buzz Buzz attack, and Buzz Buzz attack. I think that was pretty much it. So, Buzz Buzz... He says, the Starman came from ten years in the future to kill me. Now we are going to drop off Pokey and Picky. And the only reason why I'm speeding through all these dialogues is because I already know the whole game dialogue. So we're going to talk to his dad, which is going to whoop those two later. Or now. It's spanking time. Name's going to say, it's time to go home. We don't like you living next to us. And he's saying, we loaned your father a bunch of money. Then the lady is going to find... Oh, he's going to say... Ew, a beetle! Dumb beetle! <laughs> and then we thought Buzz Buzz was super strong, and now he's super weak, which is kind of lame for us, because he would have been much help at the beginning of the game. Wouldn't have been cool to keep Buzz Buzz just to pwn everything we came across? To defeat Gagas, your power must unite with the Earth. There's channeled eight points. Your sanctuary location is the first is giant step. You must go there. You're a very intelligent young man. Everything's getting dark. Before I pass on, I want to give you something. The soundstone records the melodies which you need to put. No, I pushed. I wanted to hear the story one more time. So we get to hear that the Earth channels your power and multiplies as you visit these eight sanctuary locations. At on it is the first one, at Giant Step. And then he says, oh, it's painful again. And then he wants to give me something again. Called the soundstone. Records my the eight sanctuary locations. He's almost gone, and I don't want to hear the story again. Ah, that's exciting. I think I made that mistake the first time I played this game, too. Making him repeat that story. But that's okay. What are we at? Like, 12, 13 minutes into the game now? Yep. And then there's the cameraman! And you know what the cameraman does? He falls from the sky. It says, pictures taken instantaneously, I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready, f get ready for an instant whatever. And then he takes a picture of you. And this apparently says fuzzy pickles, often. But that's okay. So, the first thing I have to do, um, since I'm completely healed, I believe, is I need... No, I'm not completely healed, I only have 26 hit points. I need to fight some enemies and get trained to... Now what? Level 3? Level 4-ish? And then I have to have enough money to buy things. Dang it, lady. <laughs> okay, so... Enemies, enemies, enemies. That guy, that mole, will talk about guts. And smashes. I think. I don't remember exactly. Oh, there's a Mr. Baseball cap we need to grab. Heh. <laughs> so, back in the old days, uh... Earthbound came with this really big strategy guide. It came in a huge box, promotional box thing. It was amazing. It came with the strategy guide, which is why I got to learn a lot of the secrets. Back then, there wasn't... internet was only dial-up, so... whatever you wanted to learn. Basically, you had to learn either from strategy guides, which used to sell very hot, but now, most of the things you can find online, so strategy guides aren't a good way to profit, in most cases. But back then, strategy guides were the gamer's ultimate digest, basically. So, training, training, gosh, there are no enemies here. I really should just be up there where there are regular enemies. But, this on it song is too catchy for me. get to level 3 or so, at least. That Mr. Baseball Cap seriously increases your defense, though. You need it to really do anything. Darn you, Spiteful Crow. Realistically, though, why would you hit a crow with a bat? Bat's really heavy, if you think about it. 
another spiteful crow, which we will defeat, hopefully. Wow! Stop dodging me! Why do I always end with a smash attack? It's kind of interesting. If I just do a smash attack from the beginning, he'd be dead in a hit. Apparently that is not the case. How many cookies have I got? Okay, that's good. I accidentally pushed my ATM card, which I should have fought that coil snake. Lots of thoughts run through my head really quickly, so you'll see me go back and forth between a bunch of different topics at the same time. So I eat some steak. That is Ness's default favorite food. You can select whatever you want. That is what I chose as the default for favorite food. And for my special, I chose, I think, Gift. That is probably what I chose, let me see. Oh, I don't have that skill yet. Why did I just heal myself for no reason? That was pathetic. Okay, so we are continuing now. Um, our next step is to buy stuff, now that we have some money. I know that wasn't much fighting, but it gave me something. Darn you, snake. Seriously. You can't one hit this thing yet? To one hit it, you need to do 16 damage. I remember in the strategy guide, they had HPs for pretty much any monster. And some of the bosses. Not all of them. And of course, with the last bosses, they always put question marks. Because they don't want you to know. Darn you. Of course, the special boss in this game is very special. I won't explain why until we get there, which won't be for about, maybe... I would say this whole run of Earthbound will not take more than 10 to 12 videos. 10 to 12 one hour length videos. That is about half a day of playing this game completely, if I were to do it in one day, which I probably will not. I'll probably do it one hour sessions, one hour per day, or so. We can help. Sometimes I might go longer or shorter. So I have $79. And I don't think I can withdraw... yeah. $79. ka -ching. And I will be a moment, because I need to actually answer the phone. I'm unsure exactly why I pushed the phone when the phone was ringing, but I guess I wasn't paying attention because I needed to answer the phone. The first thing I'm going to get is this really strong bat. Well, it only raises my offense by four, but this game, that will make a difference. And the cheap bracelet, which I can't buy right now. Um, that is all. Yeah, I pushed the foot. I would like to equip it here. Besides, the cheap bracelet only gives, I think, two defense. Or is it six? I don't quite remember anymore. The next step is we have to defeat what a gang called the Sharks. The Sharks are some bad people that tried to ruin the town of Onnit. And they were already described earlier in the game. Crud, I have to face two of them. And they can be quite strong if you don't know how to defeat them. <laughs> See? 13 damage up now. If I can't defeat that, I'm gonna die. No joke. Let's heal. Because depending on what they do, they have some really powerful attacks, but some really weak attacks too, like you saw what the skate punk did the first time. If he shreds fiercely, that's not good for me. Ow. Charge forward and shred fiercely. He has a smash. As long as he does not do too much damage. Yes, he's doing a normal attack. See? You need to kind of have luck at the beginning of the game in order to win. Because your level's too low unless you want to grind. This game, you normally don't have to grind because 
the storyline is perfectly balanced with your levels. For the most part, if you don't grind at all and try to avoid every enemy, then you won't survive. Nice, offense, defense, wow, guts by four. I think all the stat increases are simply random. I really don't think there's any real progressiveness to the uh, leveling up. So I think sometimes you get really good stats by the end of the game, sometimes you get really bad stats by the end of the game. But I think overall, there's some base gain that you get. So no matter what, you'll always be at least decent by the end of the game. I think sometimes I've gotten really lucky in leveling up like I did just now. So I'm gonna eat some cookies. By the way, I am not playing this on my keyboard. I am playing this with... using a... Nintendo DS that is transmitting wirelessly signals to my router. Which is then being translated into the DS NES, which I think is awesome. Maybe I'll show you later. Okay, don't die, don't die. Okay, laugh hysterically, why don't you? Alright. Then I need to get this. And drink it. And I'll eat the bread roll too. Okay, fight. We need to get to level 5. And then I have to defeat some one guy inside. Ah, not this pairing again. I don't know which one's worse. I think the Pogo Punch is less. Oh god. I think I need to run. If I don't want to die. Run, 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 run. I'm dead. I am so dead. I am so dead. I am dead. Oh no, I don't think I can defeat them. I really can't. But then again, they're not really attacking at this point. Oh, now they are. Oh my god. Yes, I survived with vitality, but I'm gonna die still. Dead, 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 dead. Yes! Oh ho ho. I am so lucky. I told you, this game is all about being lucky. Oh yes, I'm so lucky. I had 13 HP, and I survived with 13 HP. You know why? Because in this game, there's this unique system called Vitality. Your Vitality, the higher that stat is, 3 is very low, by the way. I really shouldn't have survived. But, if your Vitality is high, you will usually survive at least one attack, down to 1 HP. I'm amazed I survived that. Like, holy cow. I'm the luckiest guy to play this game. Or this is my luckiest run of this game. Yes, I would like to equip it here. Oh, it gives me five defense. That's nice. Now I need to buy hamburgers, because hamburgers give you 40-ish HP, if I recall correctly. Hey, all the information about Earthbound I have from a guide. I don't read any of the online stuff. And they told me hamburgers give you 40 health, so that is fine by me. Also, I think if you look at the help, they tell you. 50 HP, 100% beef. Awesome. Hamburger. Now, at this point, um, I have 2 HP, so I can choose to either use a hamburger or go to sleep at an inn. But I don't think I can afford the inn, because I've only got $7. But we'll try because the amount you have to pay for an inn depends on the place, which is on, this is on it, so it doesn't cost much. And, let's see. Yes, $35, I can't sleep here. Okay, so I'll use a hamburger. Once I get enough money, I will come back and get Life Up A's, because I need that to defeat Frank. When I say Life Up A, I mean Life Up Alpha. I say Life Up A because that is what I used to call it when I was a kid. I didn't think those were actual... Uh... I don't even know what they're called. Roman? Greek? Greek letters? Something like that. Look at that, he charges forward for 8 damage now. That copper bracelet really ups my defense. I am unstoppable now if I don't keep missing. If I keep missing, I'll die. So pretty much the way I play is how to beat the game quickly. Although, um, if you want to be really, really quick, as in speedrun quick, you have to watch what the speedrun guy did. 
he d he beats things at absurdly low levels. Yeah, he says, you beat him, my buddy, didn't you? And when I say speedruns, I mean, um, speeddemosarchive.com. If you go there, there are lots of speedruns, usually of classic games, sometimes more recent games. But I used to, I, I love that site. Um, I do not want to be a member, okay? And he says, don't be such a snob. Okay, so now that I did this, I have enough money to afford the inn. So I'm gonna go sleep real quick. I know that wastes a little bit of time, but I need to at least sleep and get my psychokinetic energy. Psychokinetic points back? I think that's what it's called. Psychokinetic. you don't mind my singing the songs through the mic, because the songs I just love in this game, they're beautiful songs for this NES. Earthbound is just such a beautiful game. weird when I sing this song. Okay. I'm Frank, you are. Come on! Can't you at least say your name? And then he's got his epic theme song, of course. And you gotta be surprised, he does 20 damage per slice. So, I mean, already I've got to heal or I'm gonna die. I mean, Every other turn, I've got heal. If I don't, I'm dead. Pretty much. What? Why did I cancel? Oh, no, 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 yes! That's what I love about this game. There's rolling hit points, so as long as you have a ton of hit points, it's gonna roll. Which means that it doesn't... It, you aren't instantly dead if you lose your health. It go, You lose more and more until you're dead. I think it's kind of cool. That's what made me survive, barely. Now, Frankie Stein Mark II isn't easy. All you have to know is every other turn he's gonna do something. The other turn he has to steam up. So now he's steaming. Then he's gonna hit me. Then I'm, he's gonna steam up. Now, I know he's gonna hit me next turn, so I'm probably gonna heal. Now, sometimes he does a big thing, and that really hurts. I think I'm- I think I'm being a little too careful, but you know, it's better to be safe than sorry. Yay! This boss isn't really a big accomplishment, but at least, you know, at least you defeat him, right? Um, let's see, how long has it been? 30 minutes now. Not bad, 30 minutes to get to this spot. I mean, we'll be done with Giant Step by, let's see, in just under an hour, at this rate. Now, what he just said was the, you're good, you need to unlock that shack I locked up, and the mayor has the key. And then, the mayor's gonna say, wow, you really defeated the sharks, I can't believe it, here's the key to the shack. And it's kind of funny, later you'll see what happens. If you've never played this game before, I'm sure many people have played this game. Alright. I don't see why not. So this is the mayor. He looks older, but he's he looks kinda professional. He says, kick their butts, spit their heads off, spin their eyes, and wet their pants. Boy, you are so mayor. He says, don't ask me to take any responsibility for a dangerous situation. And that's kind of a hint towards what's going to happen once you're done with this. Why did I push L? I'm pretty sure I can maintain myself throughout the rest of Giant Step, but I'm going to need hamburgers. 
I know that for a fact. I'm not gonna survive on just my life of Alpha just yet. Because there are these things called black androids. Those are gonna be the worst. The things that are gonna really help me level up are those I forgot what they are, they're slugs. Some kind of slugs. Going by two, man. I wonder how much money I got from the boss. Maybe I don't need them, though. Yeah, I don't need more hamburgers. I'm gonna find more stuff later. So, darn you, dude. I hate it when I'm right about to walk by an NPC, and all of a sudden they walk in front of me. It's like, wow, you're rude. Do, 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 do. Snakey is scared of me. This is where I can get green swirl. There's another neat thing about Earthbound that just happened. If you run into a wild battle and you can defeat one or all the enemies immediately, then the battle just ends. Wow, you opened the door. Here's a trinket. The travel charm. So now I have a travel charm. Which I think goes here, yes. I think the travel charm gives me the ability to not get paralyzed. I forget. It doesn't raise my defense at all, though. So let's see here. Protects you from paralysis. I was right. I do remember my Earthbound. La 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 la. There's a rowdy mouse. The rowdy mice can smash you. That's the bad thing, though. Yeah, see? And they do it a lot. So it's not like just a once in a while thing. They do it a lot. But, other but if they don't, then it's just a 1 HP damage thing. Like that. And the stronger you are, the less they can do it on you. So not too bad, as long as you know to make to watch out for that. Another rowdy mouse. And I like Earthbound because the enemy encounters aren't ridiculous and you know when you're going to encounter an enemy. So sometimes you can cleverly try to avoid everything. I know in the speed run on Speed Demo Archives when the guy did Earthbound. He made sure to avoid enemies as cleverly as possible. He would use some kind of method where he would be able... It was tool assisted, by the way, but... Tool assistance is okay, in my opinion. When you, uh, basically, if you tap correctly, you move two spaces... You move two spaces, but the enemies only move one space. Which means you get to move ahead of them. Now these are attack slugs. Are they? Yes, attack slugs. They don't do much, and they're really weak. They give you a lot of experience for some reason, though. Gotta love those when the developers are like, Hey, we're gonna make very easy enemies that give you a ton of experience. Those are just gimmies. You gotta take advantage of them. As you can see, they're just getting one hit. Level 7, yes! Oh, I can't surprise the mouse. And now we're continuing. Stats are looking okay. Black Antoid, here we are. Two of them. Oh, never mind. I lied to you. Usually they come in pairs of twos. Or they make two appear. That's why I hate about Black Antoids. They can call for help. Look how strong they are. Eleven damage. I mean, it's an Antoid for crying out loud. Hamburger, hamburger, hamburger. Oh, thank you. I swear, I'm lucking out this game. I really am. I mean, this run, three lucky streaks already. Well, I don't know. I, went, I would only say two, but... Two lucky times I survived. Wow, I just survived again. With one HP! This is just my lucky day, I guess. Maxing out. This must be two Antoids. No. Again. Now, I really should just focus on the t on the Antoid and worry about the tax look later, but I don't know. I don't think it really matters at this point. Darn you, 
black antoid. Stop making more of yourself. This is where you get screwed over. Because now you have three antoids attacking you for 11 damage each. Crud, I just attacked the wrong one. I am so dead. I am so dead. Oh, I'm gonna survive. Wow. Of course, they're maxing their whole health out, too, so... Stop healing yourself. Gotta hate the enemies that just heal themselves over and over. Bam! Bye, Antoid. That's one down, two to go. But can I survive? Let's see, they go first, so I probably should eat the hamburger at this point. No! <laughs> I don't need more Antoids. Stop calling for help. I'm surprised they haven't healed Antoid A. He's had little help this whole time. Yes, go smashes. Stop. They won't multiply anymore. And one more hit. Dead. That was a bit crazy, but I hope I get a lot of experience. Yes, 175. Wow, that's a lot of offense. Luck on by 3, HP. Yes, I got my psychic gifts. Now, the reason why it's called gifts... Gifts... I can't pronounce that word. <laughs> gifts. Um, now it's driving me mad. But the gifts allow me to use an attack that attacks everyone at the same time. It's Ness's special move. Yeah! I won without doing anything! But yeah, it lets me attack... <clears throat> all the enemies at the same time doing about 50 damage. Which you get at level 10. I think. Am I level 10? I'm pretty sure I'm level 10 by this point. I won again! I'm getting stronger without doing anything. Okay, now I have to fight them. I can't... I'm only one person, I can't defeat two things in one hit. Wow, jerk. Okay, now I'm gonna heal. Should I use one of these? No, I'm gonna use this. Heal. Stop it! Go criticals! I need those. Okay, one hit. Wow, we need an Antoid E now, don't we? At least I can one hit these now. I'm getting mad that it took me two hits just to defeat one. More presents. Cookies. Okay, I can use my two cookies to heal 16 HP real quick. Or 12 HP. I didn't know they only healed six. I thought they healed eight. That must have been the can of fruit juice. Yeah, that sounds right. Here we are, my sanctuary location. The first your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. The annoying thing is, the ant, the titanic ant is going to start using psychic shield. I mean, shield, normal shield. So bash attacks are not going to work after a few turns. Or they're going to barely work. They'll be halved, then quartered. They're gonna be made stronger and stronger, basically. If he bites me, yeah. Oh, ooh, yes, good thing I used the life up. Thank you. That hurt. I didn't expect him to smash, I really didn't. That would have screwed me over if I did not use life up that turn. I'm getting real lucky. Stop stealing my points. That's what Magnet does. Now he's using shield A, see? I only do 11 damage now, that's gonna really suck. 42? You're killing me! No, 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 oh, thank you. Thank you for choosing that move. I don't care if you take him, I can't do anything. His shield disappeared, that's good. I don't have any more. Die, 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 die. BAM! Gone! You know how lucky that was? How lucky I've been this whole time to not die once. I expect... Uh, last... The last time I did an Earthbound run, I died so bad. So bad, bad. Wow, we're not even at 45 minutes yet. Wait. 
Yeah, we just hit the 45 minute mark. I love that sound. It's a feeling of accomplishment. That's what I love about this game. They really emphasize when you have a special moment. And now I get some freebie experience. I'm level 10! Oh, I lied. You get the psychic gifts at level 9. This went a lot smoother than I thought. Most of my earthbound runs, I would have died twice by this time. So I'm going to say that for the rest of, of my run, I'm not going to die. And if I do, I'm going to try to make it so I don't die in any of these runs. If I can play a deathless game, then I'll be pretty happy, because I've never done that in Earthbound before. I've died at least once in some stupid way. But I think I'll make this game a deathless game. The whole run, from beginning to end, no deaths. So let's do this. This is going to be the start of something beautiful. That's the magic butterfly room. I probably should get one. I call it a magic butterfly room because that is what they called it in the Earthbound uh, Gamer's Guide. The reason they did that was because the magic butterflies constantly appeared there. So I know where the magic butterfly rooms are. Oh, this is going to be fun. New psychic gifts on these guys. This is going to be great. Dead. 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 Isn't that easy? And look how much experience you get, too. I mean, it's big. 162. I mean, that doesn't mean much anymore at my level, but it's still a pretty good chunk of my experience I need for the next level. And here, you just want to get experience once you defeat all the enemies. <laughs> More dead. I want to get one more level before getting out of here. At least. Let's see if I can find enough people. I did miss one I saw earlier, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. <laughs> Enemies, where are you? There's one. I think I just need a little more experience. Okay, that's a lot. Not worth trying to get. So now... Whoa! Police guy! Hey, the board says do not enter. Can't you read it? No, I can't read it. What a rebellious kid. Come to the auto police station immediately. What a jerk face. So basically, I get in trouble for going through a shack that the mayor told me to go into. This town's so messed up, isn't it? Huh. It's like they're on, it's like the mayor and the police force are on two different sides of the world. What is this? Now you want twenty? I'm going to sleep before I continue playing this game. Five hundred twenty two dollars, I'm rich. Draw a hundred there. No. Okay, let's sleep. Let's sleep. Ness? Ness. Ness, a friend who you have never met before. My name is Paula. 
Can you hear me calling you? I am Paula. I already know what that's about, but this game is, they, they thought about everything when they designed the storyline, when they made all the places. This game is amazing. So, the police station is right down there, that yellow building. This is the bakery. Um, I don't have many hamburgers. It's probably not a good thing. So let's eat these cookies and get fat. And then afterward I'll go buy more hamburgers to get fatter. I wonder how... It's not good for Ness's health to eat that many cookies. Or that many hamburgers. I think I've eaten... I've ate seven hamburgers. Or Ness has. I haven't. Also, I have this thing where I have to cross across the sidewalks. And walk across the sidewalks. It's just been a thing I've been doing since I was a little kid. I mean, the, it's the little things, right? Okay, this lady must think I'm crazy for getting so many hamburgers, but... I only have, I'm a dollar short of getting one more, which is bad. Because I expected to get at least four more. Hey, I can't argue with my logic. The crosswalks are safe to walk across, right? And there's stop signs, so the cars will stop, right? Hello? Okay, so this is the chief. Why is the road to Tucson closed? Emergency, of course. At times like this, kids like you should be playing Nintendo games. Are you sure you want to go to Tucson? Okay, chortle. Follow me. A chortle? I guess it's something like... <laughs> I don't know, that's my best impression of a chortle. Whoa, what's up, police dudes? Show me what you got. What? See if you can get past five of my best men. So basically, you're being put to the test of fighting police officers. This game is so crazy. I love this game. So now we get to fight cops. Which sounds hilarious, actually. I mean, what game do you know that you have to fight cops single-handedly? And these cops aren't too bad. I think four turns if you just bash them. Two turns, I think, if you use PSI gifts, psychic gifts. But usually I just bash them. I save my psychic gifts for the chief. Okay. Life up. No, I'm gonna use my hamburgers first. Crushing chops are annoying! Oh, only three bashes to kill them. That's nice. Oh, you won. That was not really a big surprise, was it, boy? The cop attacked. Don't you guys have names? Officer Jim? Officer Gordon? I don't know. Make up random names. I dodged quickly. I don't know. I don't think you could possibly dodge slowly. A slow dodge? Maybe do the matrix? Don't know. I don't see any kind of dodge other than quick. Hamburger time! I can read his mind. I can be like, he's gonna use a crushing chop, I'm going to eat. Not really, I'm just making sure I don't die. As I said, I'm not gonna die, so I'm gonna make sure I don't die. That makes sense, right? Now this last guy, this last battle is very important. I have to start off with a high amount of health. So, you can forget about me. Oh yeah, I forgot. Face palm. The last guy just runs away scared. There's no way I can beat you in a straight competition, so get ready for my Super Ultra Mambo Tango Foxtrot Martial Arts. That's not even real, dude. Okay. Start with a life up. No. I think I can handle one attack. He lost his temper. Offense went up by one. One does not sound like much, but trust me, it really hurts. He's on guard. That's good. Because that means... 
his the attacks I go on him will be halved. He came out swinging. Dead. I told you I saved for him. Level eleven. I got five psycho connect points. I didn't think you would do so well against the mighty on police force. You want me to open the road to Tucson? Hang on for a sec. I'll radio my staff and give them the word. Beep beep. Click or click. Strong here. Do you read me? Hey, it's me, Captain Strong. Okay, listen. Kid named Ness will be there in a few minutes. It's okay, Red Cap. I want you to open the road to Tucson for him. I know that. I know that. Don't ask me why. Just do it. That's an order. Strong out. Well, kid, I'm not going to question you now, but I do want to see you again. Good luck. Woo! Beat the police force. Got through Giant Step. Beat the sharks. Beat Frank. Beat Frankenstein Mark II. I'm out of here. I'm done with this part of the game. On it. I will have to come here later, of course, but I won't reveal that yet. Hey, friendly police guys. Thanks for letting me through. I am so glad I'm in at this part so early. Where? Darn. Stop running away from me. You deserve to fight me. Oh, hey, one of your buddies joined me. Yay, black antoids. Die. Dead. 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 Alright, that's that. Um, in here we could get an exit mouse. I'm not too fond of an exit mouse at this point. Because if I have an exit mouse, I'll be tempted to use it. So I'm not going to get one right now. Life up A. They still hurt that much? The defense hasn't gone up at all since then? Oh well, that's okay. I'm not too scared of these guys anymore. I have enough HP to sustain myself. They just die in one hit now. Assuming I can hit them. And I go before them. So I have nothing to really be scared about them at this point. Problem here. Two mushrooms. Okay, now this could be a little hard because I'm about to die. Crap. Oh no. No. Alright, guys, you just saw me die from a mushroom. You know what that means? My chances at a deathless game are done. You're back after dying. So I'm gonna eat some steak. So there's the end of my my big triumphant. I'm going to beat this game deathless. What was I looking forward to anyways? <laughs> Alright, I really shouldn't have died there. I really shouldn't have. I mean if worse came to worse, I should have just... I don't know. I should have checked my health before I entered a battle. That is very important. I can't believe I died because of a mushroom. I told you I'd die in a stupid way. What else would I say? I die in the stupidest ways. So... Now that... And I knew I was gonna die right when I saw that. Darn microphone. My health was low. They went first. They were going to do around 12 to 13 damage. I knew I was going to die, so that's why I said crap at that point. Black Antroids, again. As you can see, it doesn't take long to get down here, though. What do you know? Hamburgers in there. So let's fight those mushrooms again. Punks, they ran away. Like jerks. So I don't get to fight any mushrooms. But I do get to Tucson. Hey, look, they're over here. Payback time. Oh, 
Oh, come on. <laughs> no, I'm feeling strange. Heal, 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 heal. Now, what feeling strange means is two things. One, when I feel funky before my turn begins, it says, this feels fun, this is feeling funky, I could attack myself, which I usually do, or one of my party members, but I don't have party members at this point. But sometimes I'll attack the target I did intentionally attack, but it's still the same. As you can see, I have a mushroom over at my head now. This means that every once in a while, the controls... I'm not going there, there's a photograph guy there, remember him? But every once in a while, my controls will change direction. All the keys will be remapped. So now I gotta relearn it. If I can get to a hospital fast enough before the direction changes, I'm good. La 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 la. Okay, my directions haven't changed yet. Woo, I got here. No, you don't have to explain about the hospital system. Face palm. I think I'm talking to the wrong lady, by the way. I need to talk to him. I'm a healer. Hey, now that I know this, could you sell me the mushroom on top of your head? Let's make a deal. I'll pay $50. I love this game. They buy your mushrooms that grow on the top of your head. I don't know, do they use it for medical purposes? Whatever. Oh, look. There's an enemy. He looks like a person, but he's blue, so he's a zombie enemy. He's the New Age Retro Hippie. He gets the same epic Frank music that Frank got. scared me by making his teeth bright with the toothbrush. I love this game. This game's hilarious. I'm almost at the hour mark, but I'm almost done too. Because I was going to call quits right at Tucson. I just had to get that mushroom off my head. Which I could have done by sleeping, but I wanted to sell it for some money. For some money. So I gotta get to the inn. The inn's over here. We skipped it. It's actually not called the inn, it's called the hotel. Darn you enemies, I want to get this in under an hour, come on! Die, all of you! I need to make the one hour mark. I told you, I'll get in just under an hour. I am going to get in just under an hour. Go, 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 go. But getting to Tucson in an hour, pretty darn good. When I was eight and I did this, I spent about three days getting to Tucson. But I was a little kid. What else did I know? Um, sleep? Yes, I gotta sleep. Wow, fifty dollars. You guys are expensive. Of course, later you get to hotels where it's four hundred fifty dollars a night. Of course, those are the real fancy ones. No problem here. I hate it when I press L accidentally. That's okay. L is a great key. It just does everything in this game. Which is convenient. You can play one-handed with this game. Alright guys, so I'm done. For now. I got to Tucson. I am happy. I will see you guys next time to continue our adventures in Earthbound. That is all for now. Goodbye.